Has more evidence of Spyro being Crash Team Racing popped up? Perhaps even a Spyro-inspired racetrack? Let's find out. What's up guys, Canadian Guy here, and I'm back with the new year. I can't wait to get into this new year with everybody, so let's start off with a little video talking about, well, the purple boy, and the highly likely conclusion that he will be in Crash Team Racing Nitro Fueled. See, it's just so obvious that Spyro would fit perfectly in the Crash Team Racing lineup, but we need evidence. So far, the biggest piece of evidence that we have seen thus far was simply the image that was released before Crash Team Racing was announced of Spyro, saying that he has shown up to Glacier Park, which is the same name as one of the worlds in Crash Team Racing. We can also see what assumingly is Crash in the background standing by his cart, but that would just be a cross-promotion, right? Well, something else seems to have popped up. Over on Reddit, a user by the name of Boo Runs found a piece of artwork on ArtStation who was drawn by an artist by the name of Gabriel Kelly. He posted what seems to be concept pieces of Spyro-themed finish lines for a job he was applying for. There was also a description of these pictures being, quote, I did a test a while ago for a concept artist position. I didn't get the job, but I made those sketches. The game was a racing game with a really similar aesthetic to the Spyro Reignited Trilogy. They asked me to do four concepts of a finish line inspired by that world. Okay, so this person was asked by a studio to make finish lines that were inspired by the Spyro Reignited Trilogy, and that the project was a racing game that seemed to be heavily inspired by our purple boy. There seems to be bells ringing all over this place signaling that something seems to be coming. But how can we be sure that this was a studio for Activision to begin with? Well, this is where things begin to get interesting. He applied for a job with these drawings. And as you can see here, there is text in both English and, well, another language, which happens to be French. So that would assume that the language of the company that would be making this game would be both French and English. So we can assume that the company he was applying for would be, well, bilingual. Now, if you look at where Gabriel Kelly, the one who drew these pictures in the first place, is from, it says that he is living in Quebec, Canada, which is majority bilingual. Now, Beanox, the ones who are making Crash Team Racing Nitro Fueled, who is also owned by Activision, are located in, well, can you guess? Quebec, Canada. And of course, they are bilingual. It just all adds up. He was tasked with a test to get the job as a concept artist for Crash Team Racing and was asked to make finished line tracks in inspiration of the Spyro Reignited trilogy. We can also see that very likely he referred to the original trailer that was premiered at PAX as inspiration because the four levels that the finish line seemed to represent is Artisan's Homeworld, Blowhard with a bit of other flying levels, then Beast Makers followed by Magic Crafters. All these levels were inspired by images and video either shown off when the game's trailer initially released or quickly soon after. He was tasked with this because Crash Team Racing will not only have Spyro as a playable character, but likely a Spyro-themed level to boot. But will there only be one level? Or more? I have a bunch of ideas for levels for Spyro, but that will be for another video. This, in my eyes, simply solidifies the fact that Spyro will be in Crash Team Racing. But what kind of levels will we see? Comment below and let me know what you think would be a great level to have in Crash Team Racing that's inspired by Spyro. Anyway guys, thanks so much for watching, cue the extra.